Alright guys, welcome to the next part of Instagram Growth Sprint and in this video we will talk about carousel post. Carousel post is highly shareable, highly engaging type of content. It's an Instagram post that has several slides, if I can say so, I really like to call them slides. And this type of content is really, really highly shareable in Instagram stories and in terms of engagement because sometimes uh, this type of post gets more savings than likes, which is pretty cool. As I said, this is uh, Instagram appreciate really a lot when people use all of its features and Instagram carousel post is one of the feature and it's quite a trendy right now to uh, have this uh, really nice carousel post, especially if you are doing educational type of content on your Instagram page. And the other coolest thing about Instagram carousel posts, so whenever a person is scrolling through the feed and you have published carousel post, uh, the first time it's going to, uh, this person is going to see the first slide, uh, the next time when uh, he or she is going to scroll around, the Instagram algorithm is going to show the second post from this carousel and so on. This type of content always going to be uh, popping up until the person will see all the posts. As I said, the more time people spend on Instagram, the better it is for the growth and people are going to scroll around for quite a while um, and that is how Instagram will algorithm will think that um, yeah this content is interesting and start pushing to it to a bigger audience. All right for this uh, tutorial we're going to use a such platform as Figma. This is a uh, platform is absolutely for free. We're going to design with you one carousel post and it's going to be uh, you know, just a recipe how to make a pizza and you can use this as an example to design your own carousel post. All right, let's dive straight to the tutorial how you can do it by yourself. All right, guys, so we're going to jump to the tutorial. I'm just going to record the new screen recording. First, we need to find the platform. It's called Figma. Just Google it and then we're just going to go ahead and open it. I'm already registered there. You can easily register with your gmail account and i'm just gonna show you what we are going to do and um we are going to create carousel post in this style all right so i'm just gonna keep this as uh, an example for myself to be open and we're gonna go ahead i'm just gonna open a new link all right and uh, we're gonna create a new project I'm just gonna click on black plus sign and um, the first thing that we need to do is to create frame our first frame we can choose here social media and instagram post here we go we just make it a little bit smaller because it's too big and place it over here i'm just gonna copy and paste as many as i want for this tutorial it's going to be just four and the first thing that i'm going to do here is changing the color so right now it's a um, white color i'm gonna make it something cool like this uh, it's fine and then i'm going to change the color on all posts and in documented colors it's saved um, as a first color all right so we just quickly do that and last one here we go all right so our templates are ready and the first thing that i like to do is adding different elements i'm going to open my folder because i already saved some of them and i'm just going to choose the elements that i wanted to place uh, here we go and i'm going to place this one over here uh, this one here okay this one will be here and this one is going to be like this and I'm just going to copy and uh, get another one like this. Perfect. So now it's time to start adding the text. So I'm just going to copy the text from my previous artworks and I'll just place it over here. The size is to be a bit too small. Uh, I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to maybe try. This is still small. Okay, so maybe we will use that one. We'll just need to make a bit more space like this. Maybe it's too big. Okay, so let me try 200. Okay, that's fine. 200 is fine, but the space between the line is pretty big. So I'll make it, let's try 100. It's too much, 150. Maybe even 170. Okay, that's perfect. If you want to add text, you just click on this text button and start writing on the post where you want it to be. I'm just going to copy already what I have done. So we are a bit faster. And let me place it over here. 
the first one is 100 okay just make it, making it bigger and this will make 70 make 150 150 okay I'm going to place it over here and uh, I'll also make this text a little bit bigger now it's 20 maybe it's gonna be 64 uh, and let's try 100 it's too much maybe 70 that's perfect so I'm just quickly going to add all of this text so we don't waste too much time all right and if you want to readjust your text if you want to uh, align it central or left by the left side by the right side if you want to change the text the color of the text just uh, go ahead and play around if you want to change the phone there are a lot of fonts are uploaded on this platform already and uh, this is actually pretty fast and we are ready to save it we're just gonna go ahead and click on uh, file export and uh, we're gonna choose this post this post i'm gonna choose this post this post this post and this post and i'm gonna click on export export for layers here we go i'm just gonna show you how it's looking and we can unzip it and here we go so this is uh the first post the second post and the third post you can save this post into your camera roll send it to your phone and you are ready to publish it onto your uh, feed as a carousel post all right guys that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something new and i'm going to see you in the next video and in the next video we will start creating animated text on your images